I'm, so my number two guy was Kobe Dean from Georgia. And I, I'm not going to lie. There's some things with him that bothered me. Uh, he's 5'11". He's 225. So right offhand, he's a little short guy. Short linebacker. Short. He's not short by short any means. Short stocky. He's stocky. He's fast. He's rangy, which I liked. But when I watched him on, and from what I was led to believe about him, and I, I don't, I'm not a big college football guy. I don't believe you are either. But everyone we heard that talked about him, it was this guy's Roquan fucking Smith. He's not even in the ballpark. What I liked about Dean Juan was I liked the leadership. Like in the national championship game, I told you right before we went on air, I'm like, there's this play where he gets in um, uh, Tadell's ass about like, hey, you you ran into me. They almost got a touchdown. And like he's in there, like not in a disrespectful way, but it's just like, hey, bro, like you fucked up, like make up for it. And then the next play, Tadell gets a sack and first guy there is him. And he's just like dapping him up. And he's good in coverage. He has some good balance. Like if he gets hit, he'll like buy a guard. Like he'll stay on his feet. And that's what I that's what I liked about him, man. I but I don't love him. Like I don't love anyone else other than really I, I, I don't even love Devin Lloyd, I would say. I really like him. But like for me, like I said, it's one and then it's everyone else. Yeah. Um I mean, he's a speed speeding missile, bro. You can't miss him when you're watching Georgia. You, you, you watch Georgia. I started off watching the safeties first. Mm-hmm. And he popped out right away. I said, God damn, who the fuck is this 17 dude? He's just making plays everywhere. And I was like, oh, shit, that's N'Kobe Dean. And he, I mean, he's relentless and disruptor as a as a blitzer. Um, he, rare guy in man-to-man. Like He locks down running backs, running back. which it's, is it's what I liked about great. him a lot. I should have let off with that. But so yeah. much value in that. And especially, and, that's what I said, we're pro-ready. I think it's going to be him because, one, he's a leader. Two, is if you can cover running backs as a linebacker, you'll find the fucking place in the NFL. Right. Don't don't you worry. One thing, though, I, what's different about it, when Harris, he's, like, bowling over guards sometimes. He's like, I'm going to get right on there. Like, I need, like, a five-yard head start. I'll blow him back. Or it's like, I'm going to just kind of get skinny on them and just kind of wiggle around them. That's where the problems start for me. Physicality? It's, he's He's not a first and second down player. It, to me... If you come into the league and like, here's the thing. People get it mixed up with Georgia, especially with the linebackers. You have to judge them a little bit different. They had two of the best defensive tackles on their defensive and line. the top edge. A sure. lot of that fucking work is from the def- defensive line. Those guys are running free. Well, it's like it's like what I said about uh, Trey Walker. It was just about they don't just go. They're like, we're going to hold it up. We're going to look. Oh, the running back's coming this way. Let's get off. It's not like, okay, we blew past them, and now our linebackers are exposed. They protect their linebackers. And that's what makes Kobe Dean look special. So if you get to a place, like if Kobe Dean's on that Niner team from like back in the day, like 2011s, like with Justin Smith and Alden Smith and with Patrick Wilson, he'll look amazing. Yeah. But if you're on a team where it's kind of like, oh, shit, here comes a guard, and there's plays you can pull up of him where a guard bucks him off the line 10 yards. And I was like, whoa, that should not happen, dude. Alabama straight up exposed them at times, especially in the SEC uh, championship. Yeah. And like they like ran I, toward, they isolated him and they fucking ran his little asshole. The only reason I kind of like understand a little, I give him a little bit of a pass because Georgia in general got their ass whooped so maybe it was just a bad performance he kind of got a little bit better when they played in the uh, national championship game but yeah like that's a, that's a red flag i have that as my number one red flag it's can you be physical enough to take it like what if george kittle's gonna block your ass he's gonna go I mean, down to the ground any type of zone um running scheme he played the niners he's yeah. not gonna be on the field yeah that that's my big red that's, flag yeah but i think with some nfl weights and get a little bigger and while I'll say one more thing, he didn't run the 40. Kind of surprised me. It's like you're that little small. You and, should fucking burn it. And this is the thing. Sometimes, you know, we're always talking about the measurables not meaning much. This guy has very short arms. They get to his body. It it's show, over for him. Yeah, and it shows on film. Yeah. There's guys who have short arms, but it doesn't, the film doesn't justify it. They're like, oh no, but he's strong as a fucking ox. He he doesn't let guys get to his chest. This guy's different. The tape shows it. The arm length is a problem. Do you have a pro comparison for him? I got Devin Bush. I got Kawan Alexander. It's like a like, little like bite-sized version yeah. of him. Yeah. It's just 
if he was six one with a little bit longer arms, I would have really liked him more. Like I said, though, and I'm talking bad about him. Like I don't like him. I do like him. He's my number two linebacker. So right. clearly, I don't hate the fucking kid. I think he'll be good. But like you said, there's some red flags. It's like he's not. He's not Roquan Smith. Everybody. He's not the best linebacker in this draft. He's a twenty. He's a late first, early second round guy at best for me. That's where I got him. 